Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of InHomeComputerHelp.com. I cover all of Oahu, and no, I do not have an unstable network. Thank you, Zoom. But I want to talk a little bit about how to teach senior citizens or any other beginner how to use a computer. I am a dual certified teacher who eventually became a computer expert. So I actually know how to teach. I, I, I don't just know something and then I'm going to transfer that knowledge to you. I actually have been to college to learn teaching techniques and have a fun, positive environment with teaching techniques that help people remember their lessons. So, you know, it's it's a job that doesn't last because, well, I'm good at it and eventually my students don't need me. But I think, and I, I know you're trying to be helpful, but I think one of the worst things that can happen is for a relative to try to teach mom or dad, grandpa or grandma how to use a computer because mom or dad, grandpa or grandma are worried about frustrating, you know, the, the relative, the relative is getting frustrated because the relative grew up in school learning this stuff already, you know, from a professional educator such as myself. So they grew up learning how to use computers and their, their thoughts are, oh, everybody knows how to do this. How come you don't? And I, I actually heard a story where somebody who was actually paid to teach someone how to use a computer, look at that person and say, well, everybody knows that. No, come on, that's insulting. Everyone starts out learning something at some point in their life. There's no such thing as common sense, by the way. It's all based on life experience. So, I mean, you know, and hopefully figuring things out, okay? Like, even if you've never crossed the street before, if you see a whole bunch of oncoming cars, you can pretty well figure out, okay, I'm not supposed to cross the street. You can call that common sense if you want to. But as far as everybody just absolutely being born with some type of intrinsic knowledge on how to use a computer or cell phone for that matter, no doesn't happen. And I also give cell phone lessons. And I do that because cell phones are actually becoming more important than uh, computers are because we all have our smart cell phones with us. And seniors and people trying to help their senior relatives do not buy senior phones. Okay, you don't, uh, because once they get good with the phone, they can't learn anymore. The senior phone is already limited. There's a way to set up a phone so that beginners can use the phone without having to worry about all what all the other buttons are doing. And then later on, we can add those buttons. But here, here's some tips for you in case you do try to teach uh, mom, dad, grandpa, or grandma how to use a computer or how to use a particular piece of software. Uh, we're going to start with one uh, example that I that I remember back a few years ago. I had this. I, I walked into this little old lady's house. Um, she <laughs> she looked at me and smiled and said, "I was afraid to take it out of the box till you got here," and I just kind of chuckled. So I took it out of the box, but then guess who set it up? That's right, she did. Okay, because part of the job of teaching computers or cell phones is to get rid of the fear factor. They're nervous that they're going to push the wrong button or that they're going to do something to make the computer explode or the cell phone dial the president, you know, or something like that. Okay, all that stuff is really, really hard to do. Uh, it the cell phones and the computers are pretty well bulletproof as far as making one click and making the whole thing explode or something. Uh, once they get online and on the internet and stuff like that, they need to be aware of some 
safety precautions such as, such as viruses and I'm going to call it fearware. I don't know if anyone's ever called it that or not, but I'm going to call it fearware. It's when you get that pop up that says, call this number immediately or you're going to lose everything in your computer and blah, blah, blah. Don't call that number. You know, if you need to call someone, call me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's step number one. They do it. Okay, so this little, little old lady, uh, I can't even remember her name. It was such a long time ago, but she was a very sweet lady. Okay. So she set the computer up herself. And as she set it up, I didn't say, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do that. Okay, go. Okay, I didn't do that. I had a client who told me about that. He uh, gave me a nice compliment. He said, I spent hundreds of dollars on geeks until I met Rick, who's a teacher. and once again, him, I had him sit down and he did everything. And here's the other thing too. Let the person make mistakes. Okay. And the last thing you want to do is scare them by saying, don't click that. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Don't make them even more nervous and don't look frustrated. Even if you want to look frustrated, do not look frustrated. So don't click that is something you don't want to say, okay? Here's what I say. If someone clicks the wrong thing and they end up somewhere else and I let them do it, and I say, you know, I'm glad you did that while I'm here. Here's what we do to get out of there. And I'll even show them, but they'll, they'll do it to get out of it themselves, okay? I'll say, okay, so click right here, good. All right, and hit this uh, back arrow key. That'll That'll take you back in history. Good. Okay. See, now you're back where you were. Nothing to worry about. You did good. Okay. So that type of thing. Be positive. Okay. I know you're talking to an adult, but uh, I have an expert. I, I have an expertise in behavior modification, which they now call behavior management. And I'm going to tell you that adults and children react the same way to the same stimuli but adults are more suppressed about it. Adults like the positive reinforcement. They like the compliments and everything, just like kids like it, okay? And so when, I know it's gonna sound silly, but when you look at mom or dad and say, hey, you did good, good job, you're learning quickly. They like that, They there's and that helps them with their confidence. So they're enjoying the lesson and they're increasing their self-confidence and you know, they're going to click on something that they have trouble getting out of when you're not there. Um, even then, uh, you know, if you can help them over the phone, great. Uh, I use a, I use a remote piece of software to uh, log in and help people remotely. Uh, they're, they're out there, but in any case, um, you know, once again, on the phone, uh, don't be frustrated, especially if they get caught, you know, with some malware or some fearware. That's fearware is what I'm calling it. Uh, don't get frustrated. Okay, when, when my clients are embarrassed, especially the ones that paid money or let the bad guys into their computer or things like that, they're, they're embarrassed that they got taken. They're embarrassed if they sent them money, things like that. Hey, you got to make them feel better about that. And you say, you know, these are professionals. This is, they design things to get people excited so that they don't think, okay, you're not the, you're not the first one to fall for this. Don't worry. It's, Sometimes it's just part of life, learning lessons the hard way. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this, 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 and then tell them now, next time something like this comes up, give me a call. Okay. That's all you got to do. Uh, let's see what else. So I, I know I'm not going over a lot of, you know, do this and do this and do that first, but I am going over the actual teaching techniques so something else I want you to do is 
assume absolutely nothing. Okay, I, I had one senior citizen that never ever typed anything before. Okay, by the way, quick tip for you on the on the top keyboard where the letters are, you know, the top letters, if you look at them, all the top letters can spell the word typewriter without having to shift down to another uh, row. The guy that invented the typewriter thought that was it would be a cute idea. I wasn't there. I'm not that old. <laughs> but anyway, so assume nothing. Uh, this is a mouse. Okay, and come up with things that people can remember. Okay, like one of my mantras, if you will, is right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action. So let's right mouse click here. Okay, and when we right mouse click, I get that. Now, if I want to go into some of these, like save as, then I left mouse click for that action. I don't want to do that. And remember, it's uh, dependent on what you click on. So depending on the icon or program or whatever that you click on, it's going to depend on, on what's happening. Like if we go up here, I this is the website address box, website address bar, whatever you want to call it. And if I right mouse click on that, you notice I get a different set of options. Okay. So right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action, uh, things like that, you know, come up with things that people can remember pretty easily. And they might want to take notes. The seniors might want to take notes. So have them do it first. Okay. And then close absolutely everything. Okay. Like yesterday I was, uh, teaching a computer client. Oh, what was I teaching them? Something to do with, oh, something to do with Google Tasks. Uh, Google Tasks is a really cool thing, especially for people with ADHD like I have. But I was teaching them how to use Google Tasks and showing them how to get to it using his Google Chrome web browser and go into Gmail. So I didn't just say, okay, you're already in Gmail, so let me show you. I closed everything. And I had him open up Google Chrome. And then I showed him where Google Tasks was and things like that. And I had him click it and had him open it. Whenever you can, have the senior do that himself or herself. Okay. You can remember things a lot easier if you do them yourself as opposed to just watching. There's so much more that goes on in the brain when you store things, when you do things, as opposed to when you just watch things, okay? And plus, doing things will help to increase the self-confidence. It'll get them used to using their mouse or their touchpad. Uh, Let's see if there's anything else I want to cover. I, I do want to stress uh, to be positive and that there aren't any mistakes. When your senior uh, does something, let's say wrong, for example, that's not a mistake. That's an opportunity to learn something new. So there are no mistakes in computer lessons, just new opportunities for learning. And that's pretty well what I wanted to talk about. And obviously, if you have one around you, someone such as myself, that's an actual trained teacher, that's also a computer expert, uh, you're way better off hiring someone like me as opposed to trying to teach grandpa or grandma them yourself how to use a computer. But if you do go about trying to teach yourself, don't give them the frustrated look, okay? You smile and you tell them they're doing a good job and you don't get frustrated and take the mouse away from them, okay? You have them do the work and you be positive. You tell them what a great job they're doing. 
because they're already scared. They're already worried about frustrating you as the relative. And that's it. That's all I can think of other than go to my website and text or call me instead of trying to do this yourself. <laughs> but feel free to share this with other people that are trying to teach grandpa or grandma how to use a computer. And uh, that's it. So God bless you. And good luck giving lessons.